All right, let's talk about five ways to make better melodies. So tip number one is to use less chords. You know, instead of going for something that's got like four, five different chords, a lot of movement, try something that's like one to three chords max. So we could go for just simple minor chord to start. Then we could work some tension points. Could move that down, move that down. Maybe move this down too. Nice. And that's just two chords, so let's listen to that. So the second tip is chord voicing, and it's just a little concept where you take these basic permutations of chords and you just take certain notes in the chord and you move them up, or it could be down an octave, just to get a different tone of that chord, like a different flavor. So we could do that right now. That actually sounds really nice. That sounds pretty clean, I'm not gonna lie to you. So it's something that's really simple, but just that little thing alone can really expand the way you use chords because it just allows you to add a different flavor to your sound, it makes your basic chords sound more interesting. So the third tip is to build your melody by layering sounds on top of the notes that are already in your chord progression instead of making counter melodies. So if we wanted to do something like that for this beat, we could open up a new instrument and so now all we have to do is follow the notes that are already a part of the melody we've made. Cool, so then we can just copy that over and match the notes in that motif for this chord progression. And we can double that just to make it sound a little bit more natural. Copy. Paste. And then just pan them away from each other. Put them in the same track. Route it to the melody bus. Can create little bit of variation in between those just so it sounds like two recordings doubled over okay cool so we could also layer that with pads and just follow the chord progression with whatever pad we select so we could go back to decent sampler I love this prismic bank and we'll just follow the chord progression. Where does that sound better? Maybe. back to decent sampler and we could find some kind of lead instrument i'm thinking a string we 
you can find a nice bass and we can just layer that by following the bass notes of the chord progression literally nothing crazy not even a counter melody on the bass just Tip number four is to add accents and melodic runs to your instruments. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that I do that. The first one is to just kind of outline the first chord in my melody and then strum it. And then I'll make a diagonal cut on the entire chord so that there's a second set of notes. And then I'll press shift plus D to shrink all those notes. Maybe move that up. Add some delay. Another way that I like to create melodic runs is by picking a section of my melody. So maybe we could do something like this right here. And what I'll do is I'll just render that entire section. I thought that shit was gonna crash. That's actually crazy. <laughs> and now that I have this section rendered, we can use it to build like a new melody. There's like a bunch of ways we could approach this. Like pitch this up. But then shrink all of them. So it plays like faster. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. That's kind of hard, bro. Okay, I actually had like two more ways I wanted to show you how to make accents, but this melody is already getting pretty busy. I don't want to fill it up too much. I have a bunch more tips I want to share with you. Comment below if you want me to make a part two to this video. Let's move on to tip number five. So tip number five is to give your melody atmospheric context. And basically that's just a fancy way of saying to add things like perk loops, ambiance textures, and just a bunch of other like maybe non-melodic, more percussive sounds in order to make your melody sound more interesting. So I'm just gonna go to a couple of different sounds and packs that I like to use in order to do that. And context is important because you wanna think about what you want it to sound like. So I want it to sound like it's in the dark at night, like almost like a mall seance between like, I don't know, some homies that are up to no good in like a horror movie or something. It's definitely fitting for the damn near Halloween vibes. So we'll just stretch that and fit it. Turn that way down. More felt than heard. And I just love this bird's texture. You guys see me use it a lot. add like an actual perk loop too. Bye. 
So that's the entire workflow. Thank you so much for pulling up to watch. Check out this video appearing on the screen if you want to learn seven more tips that are going to make your beats sound amazing. I'll see you there.